going on guys? Today, I don't know if you can pointing at it, but we're making the Subaru louder. It's the first thing we did, you already saw that one video, we took out the airbox this time. Um, it's like custom exhaust, let me show you. It's like a so-called custom exhaust. Um, pretty much all we did is just stock exhaust. Uh, took off the resonator, welded that pipe on there, and took off the muffler and welded that aftermarket muffler on there. Um, I'm sure it'll make it louder. We're about to find out if it does. So, yeah. It was pretty simple. I didn't do the welds. I don't know how to weld. I had my dad do that for me. But, uh, so this angle here, I had a straight pipe and it, we didn't know how to angle it. So, hopefully this doesn't mess up anything. Like, hopefully it still fits on the exhaust with the exhaust hangers going on, that stuff. We'll find out. So, yeah. Just gonna show you a quick before and after. Oh dang, I don't have a before. Eh, it's okay, I'll just show you an after. I'm gonna lift the car up real quick and then show you how it's done. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so sketchy. Watch, watch the car straight. Oh. I got wheel chokes on the back wheels, just, just so you guys know. Yo, this is so scary, I feel like it's gonna fall. I would call Zane over, but he's at school, so. Oh my god. What was that? We're good, we're good still, we're good. That's for just extra protection. Shake the car, make sure it doesn't move. Okay, we're good. If you guys want to do that just in case so the car doesn't fall on you. Um, so pretty much, wow, the car looks crooked, huh? Yeah, I'll be fine. Look at that. Dude, look at that. Hovercraft gang. So the way I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to do it the opposite way of how I took it off. So I started off over here on this side. Um, after the cat. But now I'm going to start at the muffler and just work my way back. And then I have this little jack stand or this little jack because it's kind of hard to do it with one person. And like the exhaust is going to be like tilted down and it's kind of hard to put it, the exhaust hangers in place when it has all the weight going down, you know. But yeah, so pretty much the way I've been running it this last week because I haven't, I haven't like had time for my dad's hand to weld it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Here. Yeah, that's the cat. And it's just left off there. It's so it's been loud. It's been like all in the cabin, like all the noise, and it's it's kind of annoying. So I'm kind of glad I'm putting the exhaust back on. Um, yeah, so instead of starting here, I'm going to start down there and then end off here because I feel like that would be the easiest. The only two bolts that I have to do is up there, which is right here. I only have to do these bolts right here and that's bolted onto there everything else is just the exhaust hanger exhaust hanger the exhaust hanger exhaust hanger oh there's another bolt over here but that also goes on the exhaust hanger that goes over here that's easy um yep you know I, I probably do need to get a new exhaust like an actual exhaust not this just not just pipes it's pretty much a straight pipe except for that little muffler I guess you could call it uh, I'll think about getting a new one soon. Who knows? Maybe I'll just get a downpipe and a, cat, a catless downpipe. Okay, so this totally did not turn out as planned. I don't, give, I don't care no more. I just did it. Um, it's it's the worst freaking exhaust ever. So when we welded it, it went wrong and it didn't quite line up. Like it wasn't the exact angle. Didn't bolt on there correctly with all the other exhaust hangers. I was kind of scared of that, but whatever. So. I have a spare exhaust anyway, so if this falls off, I don't care. <laughs> I ended up using zip ties. <laughs> yeah. That's jank. I know for a fact that's gonna fall. That's probably gonna burn off from the heat. I don't even care anymore. I have a spare exhaust, like I said. So whatever, let's just hear what it sounds like. I mean, stupid freaking exhaust. It's raining. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it down first, huh? I'm not trying to get in there while it's up like that. But um yeah. 
show you guys what it sounds like now. Um, pretty upset, but whatever. I don't care, man. I don't care. It's, it's still, it's, it'll be okay. Falls off, falls off. It, it is what it is, you know. It's just an exhaust, man. It should only take like 15 minutes at the most. It's taking a super long time. It's been like an hour, and I was just like, you know what? I don't have the patience for this. So, zip tie like a boss, dude. Zip ties, zip ties are always gonna save you, you know? You can't go wrong with zip ties. I honestly might as well just buy a regular exhaust. Like, I don't know. Um, I'll go online, look one up. eBay, duh. No, not eBay. I'll go online, look one up. But yeah, let me take it down real quick and show you what it sounds like. All right, now that it's down on the ground, let's hear it. I'm gonna cut the zip ties like a little bit so it's not so much plastic hanging out. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of retarded, but that's okay. My whole car looks retarded anyway. Let's hear it. Because it honestly sounds 100% the same as it did before. That's okay. I don't even care. It was fun. Uh, I'm, I don't mind it. It's whatever. It's cool. But, yeah. It's, it's not too quiet. Or it's not, like, too loud. That's my brake. That's not my gas. I don't want to rev it up because it's cold. But, yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, next video, I don't know, probably go back to the go-kart or something. I honestly have no idea what to do. No, I might get a new exhaust or something. We'll see. All right, later, dudes.